Okay, so this is a quest. I'm not sure if it's going to be Arniel's endeavor that it, I will call this, but it's definitely true of Arniel. Perhaps we can go to start this quest, uh, you have to talk to Arniel Gain, who is in the College of Winterhold. Yeah, right here. That's Winterhold, kind of self explanatory. But the first thing you have to do is find 10 Dwarven Cogs. Now, I found 10 already because. I usually like to finish a quest before I restart it. Um, but I want to show you where the best location to find them is. Okay, save. And it's actually... Um, it's over here. In the Understone Keep, there's the Dwemer Museum. In which you can find all sorts of um, dwarven stuff, including cogs. Um, you do have to steal them, so I don't know if you have some kind of moral thing going on where you don't want to steal, um, then maybe this is not the best option for you, but <laughs> it's a video game. I don't think it should be a problem. Now, I've actually taken quite a few cogs that were lying right, right here. There were cogs all, all over here. So I'll take, right now I have 10. Oops, no, I didn't want that. Uh, yep, awesome mod this. Makes the inventory look different. Um, I'm not sure what it's called. It's Skyrim UI or something. Alright, so the Dwarven Cog. Here you go, 10. Um, they are stolen, as you can see by that hand here. So when I get 20, I'll stop. Okay, so there's three. Oh, I remember there's some in here. Yep. Oops. Let's do that. That's another awesome mod, Lockpick Pro. Uh, takes care of lockpicking. Okay, there's... So we've done four, five, six, six, seven, eight, nine. So, as you can see, there's a lot of them. Now, I'm going to drop 10 of them because I, <laughs> I don't need them. Okay, here we go. The Dwemer here. So, I'll be able to run again. Oh, if a guard says that to you, you better not talk to them. Because you probably did something wrong. Uh, you stolen something or something, you know. So, yeah, just stay away from just don't talk to the guards, because then they'll arrest you. Okay. Mark half. I just have to travel back to Riverwood, and I'm not 100% certain that if they're stolen, it will um, will be fine, but... Um, yeah, it sh should be. Alright. Luckily, there's a quest marker. Always good. But yeah, you don't get a quest marker. Um with the lo locating the cogs. I don't know why. Try to make it more difficult or something. Um, okay, let's see. Perhaps we can go another few decades. Yeah, okay, so that definitely works. You can use stolen cogs. So I'll be back with the later part of this quest. Okay, this is the second part of this quest. Um, <laughs> I haven't actually finished this uh, quest once. I have no idea what he wanted at the end because I stopped listening to his dialogue. But I do know what this is all about. Um, but yeah, I'll have to listen to. As a matter of fact, there is something you can do for me. F me. Is this the correct quest? Um, yeah, so I was, I don't like listening <laughs> to dialogue, it just, it draws on too much. Uh, and it's just for Skyrim, um, I have played Mass Effect 2, which is a brilliant game. It's one of my most, my favorite games, uh, Mass Effect 2. And I'm very excited for Mass Effect 3, <laughs> yeah, that will also be awesome. And I will definitely do a similar sort of thing. Um, Mass Effect 
three as I'm doing here. But yeah, in Skyrim, the, the dialogue just doesn't seem um, so... that interesting. Uh, it just goes on for now, ages, and here on his behalf, I just don't feel as though I care for it. I don't so know why. But it's still a fun game, uh, otherwise I wouldn't be playing this at all. Now... Oh. Why did it stop? That was, that's a different location. Maybe it's random. Goodness. Uh, Dawn starts seem its best place to start. I have uh, a change that I'm bringing to this video. So, I have two types of people that come to this channel to um, look at my videos. One of them is the subscribers. And <laughs> the subscribers is the people that I feel as though I'm making these videos for, but a lot of my traffic comes from search results, so I do tend to, you know, put help for those people in here, so that's why I do the annotations at the start of the video to tell you at what times, you know, the important parts of the video happen, and, well, that's the main thing I do, because, you know, it takes you to the solution to your puzzles as fast as possible. As possible. I don't know why it suddenly got that. Um, which is what I would look for when I am looking for you know, a solution to a puzzle or whatever. I don't want to watch a 20 minute video about some guy just talking about some stuff. But uh, the subscribers is, you know, <laughs> that's what I really want to um, make this channel about. But. It's, yeah, you just have to uh, make this kind of content for all the audience that you have. Anyway, so what I want to bring to um, this channel to change is, I feel as though I haven't been making these videos for the subscribers as much as I have been for, this, no, uh, yeah, as much as I have been for the search results. So I want to just bring topics to, uh, these videos that I, will, that I will I will talk about, and also I used to just do. Um, goodness, worse than that. I used to do a live commentary take on these quests, where I hadn't done the quest before, and then I would do post commentary over it, which is I don't know, when my live commentary goes quiet. You know, it's like tell that post commentaries coming in my other videos and there are still some videos that will be like that for instance the main quest that I've uploaded uh, together with this video um, will still have that style oh, that could surprise this guy. but what I'm doing now is I'm finishing these quests um, once without it. And then I, you know, play them again like this when I know what's coming and so on, and I just do live commentary. And I won't do post commentary because I easily explain what's happening in the live commentary now because I know what's happening. There. Oh no, it is. Anyway, I don't know how how good this will be. Um, so I won't take a. Um, you know, risk with just talking about something random. So I do want to talk about the uh, this game, Skyrim, um, a little bit at least, and some of the thoughts that I have on it. And <laughs> I love this game. It's one of the best games that came out um, this year. But there are some problems with it, and majority of the problems are just coding problems, really. Um, when this game was first released, there were so many bugs and it would crash every 10 minutes. And, you know, you think that, I um, save often and so on, but it just, it gets so annoying when you, when you just beat a boss and your game crashes. And that's every 10 minutes and it, for a while I could deal with it, I'd be like, yeah, whatever, I'll just do it again. But, 
especially with this recording stuff, it would just, it would ruin this whole thing. Um, I don't know. And uh, they did. Oops, getting surrounded here. Uh, they. There is a mod that I used so that it wouldn't crash. But with the latest update, uh, it kind of doesn't work anymore. Which is fine because the actual game now works. And from what I understand, I was actually one of the few that were actually having those problems with that game crash. Um, I wonder what the main. No idea. So looks like it's the side. What is this morse? Morse. So. I'm not even done here. Anyway, so yeah, it just it wasn't playable um, for first week or so, which is normal for a Bethesda game if you've played Rage. I really like Rage. It's, it's a brilliant game, but it's too short, and I would not recommend buying it. Um, then, you know, it followed a similar sort of path as this game. I do want to see what's over there. I'll kill this guy first. Anyway, so one of the other complaints that I do have with this game is uh, the combat system it has. It down there. Let me attempt this jump a bit. Wow, that was brilliant. Whew. Um, <laughs> you can't actually jump and run at the same time, or hit and jump, or any of that stuff. I don't know why, but it's just the way this game works. But yeah, the combat system I don't know, there's no, there's no skill to it, right? But there is skill to it, but in other games, for instance, Mass Effect, there'd be a way that you can consistently beat enemies regardless of their level. There'd always be a way that you can beat those enemies on the hardest difficulty. In this game, that's not the case. Um, goodness, where am I at? Oh, right, this is when I jumped over. That's why. Um, in this game, either you can beat an enemy or you can't. And if you have enough healing potions, you can always beat an enemy because <laughs> you can just stand there and, yeah, just heal yourself. And it's partially due to the, uh, the way that they ensure that if you level up a lot, that you know you don't just go around owning everyone, which is they they um they make enemies level with you, which is uh, I don't mind going around killing everyone if I'm a high enough level. I put a, put enough hours into this game that I'm probably I probably would feel like standing there for ages. Okay. Oh wow. And that I wouldn't mind just only everyone who spread me quickly. Uh, so yeah, you know, <laughs> don't, the only thing that you really can do here is either sneak around with... Uh, with bow and arrow. Or tank the damage as I am right now because I'm a high enough level and I have the necessary equipment that I can do that. And, you know, there's some standard techniques that you can employ that I'm doing right here. Is I'm staying on the limit of the range of this drawer so that he can only hit me so much that I'm out of range normally. But if I was a level 1, there's no way I could have beaten him. It would just have been impossible. I don't know. And also the dragons. And the, the final bosses. I feel as though they aren't fun. Like, they have... They can be difficult, but they aren't fun. And I go back to Mass Effect 2 again, because it's just a brilliant game. Uh, 
because they had a new way of killing enemies, they had a new way that they attacked, and you had to figure it out, and so on. Um, well, I should use the bow now, but I don't think I have that. Oh, goodness. I'm gonna die here. Uh, um, 